good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for coming to our little celebration this morning. So um, uh, I'm just going to say a few words before I cut the cake, and uh, I'm going to talk about three different things, OK? The first of which is emblazoned in, in fairly large letters behind me, so you can see that today is our birthday. Um, so today is uh, the 75th anniversary of my predecessor, Felix Hull, uh, starting work as Berkshire's first county archivist. Now, I have to say, Felix didn't have a room like this that he could host his guests in. Uh, in fact, he didn't have much room at all. What he had was he had a small office that was in the basement of the Shire Hall at the Forbury. Uh, that's now the Brazea Hotel, if anyone knows it. Um, and he had a solitary repository, uh, which was one of the cells beneath the Crown Court <laughs> next door. Um, and within that cell, uh, Felix had inherited the start of the collections that we look after today. Um, in the 1930s, what the County Council had done is it applied for a licence to hold manorial records. Um, and by the time Felix rocked up in 1948, and the county had received around 1,500 of these ancient documents from across the county. And in that cell, they'd placed them all beside their own records and also those of the local law courts and the workhouses. So I think that it's both reassuring and depressing to note that even on day one of the service, Felix was already dealing with an enormous collections backlog. <laughs> 75 years on, and that at least remains unchanged. Um, and indeed, to a large extent, uh, there's been a lot of continuity for the service and its collections. I've got a little bit here from Felix's first annual report, and that lists his duties as he understood them. Um, so these were the proper storage, care and custody of records, the examination and cataloguing of official and unofficial historic records from across the county, the production of those records for research, for talks and for exhibitions, and the answering of postal inquiries. Um, so although the means and the methods and the media for all those things are somewhat different now, actually all those original duties do still hold true. And they describe a, a golden thread of activity, if you like, that runs over the last 75 years. So that thread is one of looking after the county's memory uh, on behalf of everyone within it, of representing the people of Berkshire through that memory, and of making sure that they can access that memory and indeed commune with it. Uh, but of course the continuity isn't total, um, so moving on to change is the second thing that we mark today, and that of course is that today is the day we adopt a new name. So today is the day we become the Royal Berkshire Archives. So Felix wouldn't recognise that name, um, and he wouldn't recognise indeed this grand building or many of the fine collections that we store within it. Um, but I'm sure that he would recognise us as his successors, as the keepers of that golden thread of memory, and be pleased to celebrate this royal title with us. Um, and so then... How to celebrate these two wonderful things? Well, that brings me on to the third thing about today. Uh, because today is the 10th of August, and in the Christian church, the 10th of August is marked as the Feast of St. Lawrence. Now, where is he going with this? I can hear you all ask. Well, uh, what you might not know is that St. Lawrence, amongst all his many holy traits, is actually the patron saint of archivists. <laughs> And so considering that we are 75 years old, considering that we're changing the name, and considering that we're doing both these things on the very day of the Feast of St. Lawrence, well then, what better day to cut this cake? <laughs> so please do join me now as we share cake to celebrate the start of the Royal Berkshire Archives, uh, to celebrate 75 years of looking after the county's memory, and to celebrate with all colleagues, friends, supporters, everyone in this room, uh, right back to Felix, everybody who's worked hard to create the service that we've got today. Thank you very much. Thank you.